Okay, you guys, I don't know about you, but like I am dying for a road trip. I'm over San Francisco and uh, look what I got. Ah, it's the Lexus IS 500 F Sport. And you know what? Like I've got some time and the Long Beach Grand Prix is coming up. So I think I'm just gonna truck on down PCH and visit some of my haunts, see what kind of trouble I can get into. The 2022 Lexus 500 F Sport is a gorgeous sedan with a thrumming 5 liter V8 that puts out 472 horsepower and 395 pound feet of torque. The only bummer? No manual transmissions available. Instead, I got an 8 speed auto. Still, should be plenty of fun on the winding tarmac of the Pacific Coast Highway. So I know you might be asking, like, oh, why would you want to go on a road trip all by yourself? That's so boring. Okay. Same reason why I never wanted to have any kids, you guys. I am so fish. And this way, I'm not on anyone else's timetable. Like, I can do exactly what I want to do when I want to do it. I can go where I want to go. I can stop for a diet Dr. Pepper whenever I want to stop for a diet Dr. Pepper. Like, it's the ultimate freedom being on a road trip by yourself. Now, having said that, like, sometimes do I get a little lonely? I mean, yeah, like, you see something and there's no one there to be like, oh, how cool is that? Or look at that cool car. Or, look at that great sunset. So maybe that's kind of why I decided to bring you guys along, right? Like I have all my friends out there through the camera and I can show you guys the stuff that I see, but I don't have to deal with any of your crap. I think I've finally figured this out. There are so many cool places to visit on Highway 1, but I know exactly where I want to stop first. See, back before Roadshow, I used to work every summer at the Shakespeare Festival in Santa Cruz. Yep, day spent with the bard and night spent on the boardwalk. It's only a few hours to Surf City on Highway 1, so I'm stoked to take a ride on the Giant Dipper roller coaster and grab me some funnel cake. Well, I finally made it to the Santa Cruz Beach Boardwalk, and um, you guys, it's closed. Look, there's a fence, and it's closed. So I guess I'll just like walk around and see what I can find. I'm so sad. It's my favorite place. So a lot of people don't know this, but Santa Cruz is actually the real surf city. Those Huntington Beach people can suck it because it is Santa Cruz that surf city here we come like the Beach Boys sang about it. So of course, if you want to be a cool Santa Cruz person, you got to beach volleyball. And of course, I'm by myself. I don't know, so let's see what happens. <laughs> okay, here we go. Oh, God, I did it. <laughs> I didn't think that would happen. There is only one thing that can cure my closed boardwalk blues, and that's the raw power of this IS-500. <laughs> oh man, a five liter V8 is amazing. <laughs> so much fun. <laughs> but I mean, yeah, it's fun, but you guys like, is it really responsible to take a five liter V8 on a road trip? I mean, I'm getting cold miles per gallon probably 11 after that launch. You know, I mean, look, there's other ways that you can do this. Like this would be great with a hybrid powertrain, right? I'd get a little bit of extra torque down low, which would be really fun. And I would get better fuel economy. Now, having said that, is this super fun? Yes, this was super fun. <laughs> super fun indeed. And perhaps one of the last generations of V8s you're gonna be able to get. So you gotta ask, is this the last great V8 that we'll ever see from Lexus? I mean, look, research and development is not going towards making V8s better. It's going towards electrification. And if you haven't driven an electric car before, you guys, they're really fun because you've got all that instant electric torque right there under your foot whenever you want it. You never have to wait for it. It's really, really fun. Driving a V8 is super fun too. I'm not going to lie. But driving an electric vehicle is just a whole different experience. So I guess the moral of the story is downshift, and throttle on while you can, baby, because it's not gonna be here for long. All right, it's time to slow my roll and take in the sights. This is a road that I really wanna take my time on, drink in the beauty and check out the locals. Wasn't there some commercial about cows like having it really good in California? I mean, look at those cows. There they are. Those cows are have like a million dollar view. It's crazy. Look at how pretty this is. And just how long does it take to drive PCH? Well, Google Maps says that I should make it down to SoCal after about 480 miles and nine and a half hours. Now, if you're in a hurry, you could take the five and do the drive in 400 or so miles in a little over six hours. Of course, I mean, I could fly, but... I am so glad I'm driving because if you ever actually flown from San Francisco to Los Angeles, I mean, 
and by the time you get through security and all that stuff, you might as well have just driven. And plus now you gotta wear a mask and like everyone's all crowded and worried about the coronavirus. And this way, I don't have to worry about that because I'm all by myself, I don't have to mask up, so it's perfect. After a few hours in the car, it's time to stretch my legs. There are all kinds of day hikes along PCH, but I've never been to McWave Falls and seen that waterfall on the beach. The place is crowded with folks just like me out enjoying the beautiful California lifestyle and hoping to get just a tad closer to nature. Okay, I get it now. There it is. There it is. So this water is coming down in here into the ocean, so we got fresh water going into salt water, which is pretty cool, and a very, very unspoiled beach. Why is everything closed for me today? First I couldn't get on the roller coaster, now I can't like go that way where it looks like it's really fun. I mean, it's pretty pretty though, right? It's beautiful, nature's awesome. All right, moving on! <laughs> oh my God, this water is gonna be so cold, so cold, so cold, so cold, so cold, so cold. Funny thing, um, the ocean in Northern California is really, really, really cold. So surfers wear wetsuits the entire year round, and even in the summer they're wearing a full wetsuit because the water is freezing. Like I only got my feet wet just that little bit, and I can't really feel him. Beautiful, right? Amazing. And like this is all up and down the coastline, you guys. This is like this is California. It goes from all the way up there to all the way down there. And it looks like this. Beautiful. I've spent so much time messing about, I've lost my daylight. It looks like these last few hours are gonna be in the dark until I hit Long Beach, quick snooze, and then it is race day, baby. All right, I wanna know what you guys think. Would you rather take a road trip and like a hot sports car that's kind of thirsty or do you want something that's a little bit bigger, a little bit more comfy? Let me know in the comments and as always, be sure to like and subscribe.